no other family should have to experience with Ms. Chapman and her family has experienced. We expect that our public officials, that includes the councilman, that includes the mayor, that includes our senators, that includes our county councilman, to put policies in place and put pressure on the city to change its police culture, to change how they police, to change and stop chasing. We felt that resolving this case at this point would be best for the family. It's been four hard, long years. This family has had an open wound constantly dealing with it over the years in the, this pursuit for accountability. We believe that the result that we have settled has made that so. We believe that amount is the largest pursuit settlement in Cleveland history. It is the largest in the state. And we believe that shows that Tamia's life mattered and will change how Cleveland and other area police departments go about their business as it relates to the value of life and property. Tamia shouldn't have had to lose her life. We will continue to fight for families, much like the Chapman family, to make sure that Cleveland and other areas are held accountable for their reckless, wanton behavior. Ms. Chapman at this moment will say a few words about how she feels. Ms. Chapman. Yes, I would like to say thank you for the Conqueror family and Stanley Jackson for helping and supporting me and my family. I appreciate it if it, the police could stop the chase. It's not right. I miss my daughter. We'll never get her back. But I don't want nobody else, kids or elderly person to get hurt doing these chases. I hope they stop.